a taxi without a driver at the wheel. Yes, it's possible. Baidu's Apollo is a Chinese autonomous ride-sharing service launched in 2017 in suburban Beijing city district of Yijuan or Yitown. Now, these driverless cabs are making advances on road to commercial operation, and today. I'd like to give it a try. So now all I have to do is to enter the last four digits of my registered phone number, and then the door will automatically open. See, no one is inside except for us. So now let's fasten our seat belts and press the button. Wow, it's moving. Wow. On the road, the robot taxi made turns, changed lanes to overtake another car, and negotiated its way around the streets. And there's a button that can be used to call for help in case of an emergency. And now, Beijing has allowed many robot taxis, including Apollo Go, to offer such driverless vehicle services at Beijing Dashing International Airport. Wow! Here we arrived. Safely, it takes us about 10 minutes for five kilometers, just as the regular taxi. From sanitation to security patrol vehicles, buses to delivery cars, self-driving vehicles are becoming part of residents' everyday lives, and all of this is inseparable from China's determination to deepen reforms while achieving greater self-reliance and strength in science and technology. Over the past few years, China has made significant investments in technology. Seen in the rising numbers of high-tech talents, contracts, and patents in the field, in 2023 there were 950,000 technology contracts signed, with the transaction volume reaching more than six trillion yuan, marking a more than 28 percent increase year on year. The number of authorized invention patents reached more than 920,000, a rise of over 15 percent year on year. Well, China has an extreme level of innovation. Chinese. Growth in the future will be driven by technology and innovation. That's the only solution, and that's how China will really escape the middle-income trap. You know, and become a developed nation with a high level of per GDP per capita. Looking ahead, the Chinese government has pledged to allocate 370 billion yuan for science and technology in 2024. As part of its efforts to advance innovation, and Beijing's E-Town is ready to follow the task. We'll implement more application scenarios for vehicle road collaborative autonomous driving. We'll also accelerate the research and development of core technologies, gather more talents for scientific research, and achieve more scientific research results. It's hoped the move will not only create more market potential that benefits Chinese tech companies such as Baidu's Apollo Go, but also drive the country's economic growth and better serve people's lives. Zhang Chuying, CGTN, Beijing.